Hey guys, I'm Ich, and here's the thing. If there's one thing that's always present at sporting events, it's noise. No one in the house. Well, maybe not always, but you know, usually. And sometimes background noise coming from the crowd and the PA system can get in the way of recording a great sideline interview or just sounds from the game. The Brewers came up with a hand. It was great. So today I'm going to show you how to use a completely free and easy to use software to turn audio like this Hi, I'm Kenny Stills and you're watching Beyond the Game TV into that. Hi, I'm Kenny Stills and you're watching Beyond the Game TV. Okay, so first of all, I want to thank all the members who recently joined our sports videography community on Facebook. The numbers are going up faster than ever lately and it's very exciting. Of course, thank you as well to the members who've been there for a while and have been very helpful with comments, feedback. I even saw someone recently proposing to put together a how-to video and sending it directly to a person who needed help with something, which I thought was absolutely amazing. So again, thank you guys. But that being said, let's now move on to the reason we're here and let's get rid of all that background noise. Hang on, I gotta get 20 seconds of room tone. What's room tone? Uh, we gotta start again. The way we're going to do this, because I'm an Adobe user, uh, that's where I'm the most comfortable, so I will first show you how to remove background noise using Addition, which is a program in the Adobe suite that is all about audio. I personally use it to record voiceovers, to remove background noise, and to add a few effects here and there when need when be. be. But once I'm done showing you how to remove background noise in addition, which unfortunately isn't free, I'll show you how to do the exact same thing in another program which is totally free. So if you don't have any money, just bear with me. So I was going through my bank of footage looking for a game where there'd be the, the perfect clip, the perfect interview with the uh, you know, crowd in the back that I could remove the background noise and show you the, the before and after. But um, sideline interviews aren't really a thing that I do. So the best thing I could come up with is this event right here, which is a Super Bowl party that happened in Melbourne, Australia a few years back. I think it was Super Bowl 50. We interviewed a lot of fans that day and also Kenny Stills, who at the time was playing for the Miami Dolphins and was also the guest of honor. Hey Kenny, just I guess as an NFL player, what's it like seeing NFL fans here in Australia? It's amazing to see uh, NFL fans here in Australia uh, just enjoying the game. Obviously the Super Bowl is the biggest thing in the United States for us, so um, just amazing to see people having a great time enjoying the game and really passionate and supportive. Okay, so what I'm going to do is trying to see if I can turn this interview into a much cleaner version of itself. So I'm going to right click on it and edit clip in Adobe Edition, which is such a great thing about Premiere and Adobe and the whole system is that you just go from there and it opens, it creates a copy, first of all, of that audio clip and opens it into uh, Edition, which means that I can do everything I want to this new file right here and it's going to automatically affect the audio file that's in my premiere timeline but it's not gonna affect at all the original file we're only working with a copy at this point so once we're here what we want to do is identify a moment of silence within the interview not silence sorry but uh, basically a moment where no one's talking so that whatever noise is going on at that moment is what we consider background noise that we're trying to remove Typically, it'll be in one of those dips right here, so. Uh, just enjoying the game. Obviously, the Super Bowl is the biggest thing in the United States for us, so. Um, yeah, that hesitation here, that's, that's what we're after. So once you've uh, identified this, um, you go into your effects, noise reduction, noise reduction process. That opens this window, and you basically want to go and do all the steps that are um, right here. So first of all, select the area of the waveform that contains only the noise to reduce. We've done that already. Um, second, press the capture noise print button, which is this one, boom. And what that did is I, it uh, identified the frequencies of what we consider being the noise. And the 
Third step was to click this button right here, which is the select entire file, which means that now we're affecting the whole file and not just that little selection that I had before. So as you can see, there's a graph here. It's basically all the frequencies that we consider being noise. And what we're moving around is the threshold. This is where we tell addition how much of the noise we want to remove because logically you would think that we would just go at a hundred percent because we want to remove a hundred percent of that noise but within that noise there's a lot of frequencies that are also part of Kenny's voice so if we remove a hundred percent of it it's probably gonna sound very robotic uh, let me just press play and see um, how it sounds like Vinny just against us in NFL play. What's it like seeing NFL fans here in Australia? It's amazing to see uh, NFL fans here in Australia uh, just enjoying the game. So you can see it sounds like crap. And, and that, by the way, happens when your noise has a lot of variety in it. If your noise is full of different voices, music, all that stuff, that means there's a wide range of frequencies being used in there. So you can't pull them all out. It just won't work. But if you recorded a simple interview with just a little bit of background noise, like something like a air conditioner, for example, that you can probably push to 100% and it will be fine because your noise is very specific. It's a very low frequency that is not part of the human voice too much. So that one you can push. But in this case, because there's such a big range, I don't think we can go much further than, than 40%. Let's see how that sounds. The game, obviously the Super Bowl is the biggest thing in the United States for us. So you can see 40 sounds much more natural. So the second slider here is, as it says here, reduce by. So do you want to reduce this noise, you know, by 100 dB, which basically will make it completely silent? Or do you just want to reduce it by a couple of dBs, three, four, five, which will just sort of affect it a little bit? For example, if I'm filming an interview in the rain and we can hear the rain in the background, that can get very annoying. But if I can reduce a little bit of the rain so that we can still hear it, but the voice is much more uh, dominant than the rain, that would be great. Because by removing the sound of the rain completely, that's going to sound weird because there's no way you're in the rain and you're not hearing it. So if I'm watching it on TV and I can see the rain but not hear it at all, that's weird. So this is the type of situation and similar to what we have here where you still want to hear a little bit of what's going on in the background. Um, so let's say reduce it by, let's say, 6 dBs. That's 40 percent. Let's play. Uh, we'll back it up a bit. And let's play it. Fans here in Australia. It's amazing to see uh, NFL fans here in Australia uh, just enjoying the game. Obviously, the Super Bowl is the biggest thing in the United States. For See, it's much better already. I'll toggle the preview button on and off to show you the difference. Here in Australia. It's amazing to see uh, NFL fans here in Australia uh, just enjoying the game. Obviously, the Super Bowl is the biggest thing in the United States for us. So um, just amazing to see people having a great time enjoying the game and, and really... So if you're happy with the result, you just press apply and that's it. You just save your file and then go back to Premiere and boom, your new file is in. Uh, Kenny, just I guess as an NFL player, what's it like seeing NFL fans here in Australia? It's amazing to see uh, NFL fans here in Australia uh, just enjoying the game. Obviously, the Super Bowl is the biggest thing in the United States for us. Okay, so now that we're clear on the method, let's see how we can replicate it without spending a single dollar. First, you're going to download and install a free software called Audacity. It's available on both PC and Mac, so no issues there. Okay, so once you're in Audacity and ready to go, obviously there's no direct uh, communication between Premiere and Audacity, so you'll have to export your audio file from Premiere and then import it into Audacity. Um, once it's there, it's basically, it's roughly the same steps, honestly. You just um, select that dip like we did before, and then you go to effect, and you open the noise reduction effect. One of the tricky things you have to deal with, which is not necessarily a deal breaker, just uh, one of the inconveniences that you have to deal with with a free software is that um, when I do get the noise profile, which is, you know, the, the capture button that I pressed, uh, 
earlier in addition. That basically is gonna close this window and I have to open it again to actually play with the settings. But before I do that, I wanna select all so that the changes that I do affect the whole file. So I go back to my same uh, noise reduction effect. But this time I don't need to press this button because it's been done already. All I need to do is adjust the settings here. Um, noise reduction in dBs, this is the same as it was in addition. Sensitivity, for some reason, instead of being percentages here, it's from zero to 24. So I've got no idea why. Um, maybe someone who knows audio a lot more than I do can let me know in the comments why it's a scale from zero to 24 and what values it actually represents. But um, at the end of the day, it doesn't really make a difference in the sense that any changes that we make in Audacity don't necessarily affect the file the exact same way that it did in addition. So those values that we use in addition will be different in Audacity. So it's all about, you know, playing the preview and listening and fine tuning and making sure you, you get it right. As far as the third setting goes, uh, frequency smoothing bands, I had no idea what that was, so I googled it. Here's the definition here um, from Audacity. I get what it's trying to do. Again, I think that your best bet here is to press that preview button a lot, play with these settings and eventually get the sound just like you like it. Press OK and boom, the noise is gone. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video. I hope I earned the privilege of your time. I also hope you learned something here today. If you did, please consider subscribing and also pressing the like button, which would make me feel like I serve some sort of purpose. Otherwise, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.